you know, it's it's so naked, it's so exposed. Uh, the vocal lines, everything is, is so is so bare that I think it it, it brings the listeners in uh, with us. as they're sort of speaking out, not necessarily to each other, because it's not a conversation, but it is an energetic exchange. And um, even as was described in the Bible, um, from the cross, Jesus called down to her to try and comfort her as she's watching him suffering. sadness and of helplessness and of hope and all these just different things. You're trying to experience heartbreak and trying to experience hope at the same time and it's just, mm -hmm. it, it's, it, there's so much uh, going on with, with the, the text and the context behind it, mm -hmm. but it's, it's wonderfully captured in the music. when our voices come together and there is almost like this grounding feeling of uh, I guess it's almost like a, like a resolve feels present in the in the music because we're kind of in uh, in sync where we're singing in, in unison and I just I felt I felt that you know, so even as the characters are both suffering in their way, um, they're sort of exchanging strength with each other. And I think the, the melody, um, as we pass it off, it kind of it feels like it embodies that, that energetic exchange. You know, it's, it's beautiful. The music is beautifully constructed to demonstrate you know, the sorrow that she's going through and the strength that she has to call upon to, to stand there in that moment and, you know, just watch. Because that's all she can do. There's something really beautiful and selfless in, in that love, obviously, but in this ultimate moment of not being able to protect your child anymore. I don't know, I just... <clears throat> somehow, Julian wrote that into the music. I... Uh, and he's amazing. I feel very lucky that we get to experience that. Yeah, it's really special being able to share any kind of Project together, but also something that's newly recorded.